Hi, today not really a tutorial, just a cool shader setup I wanted to show you that I'm currently working on. Maybe you know the time travel stone from the game Zelda Skyward Sword? I thought it would be cool to recreate something similar in Godot. And this is my attempt on it. I uploaded the complete project file to GitHub so you can check it out and look into it if you're interested in how it works. In this video I just want to give you a quick overview over the project. So to achieve this effect I use two meshes for both the old and the new object. One mesh is a normal mesh that is displaying the outer parts of the object. And the other mesh is basically the same but it's just a little bit smaller and with inverted faces. This outer mesh will get the time travel shader assigned to the material override property in the inspector. The shader gets as an input the position of a shape and its radius and just sets the alpha values to zero for each pixel of the mesh that is overlapping the sphere. Or if you check this blend in flag in the shader parameters, everything is blended out except the pixels that are overlapped. This is to blend in the old object when the sphere is overlapping it. The other shader is just to create the illusion of the mesh having volume, so just for cosmetic reasons. It will be applied to the material override of the inner mesh and it's functioning nearly the same like the other shader but it is coloring the mesh all in a straight color. This way we get the blue shimmer along the cutting edge of the overlapping shape. To enable a generic use of this I created some classes to handle input of the shaders from script. This transition object class is managing the update of the input parameters in the function update shader. So you can select what is the outer mesh of the object and what is the inner mesh of the object in the inspector. You will need to create one transition object holding the new version of the mesh and one transition object holding the old version of the mesh. In the old version make sure to check the blend in flag in the shaders. Then you can create an instance of the time travel transition object class and link in both transition object, the old and the new. This class exists so you can declare in the inspector what is actually the new and what is the old object. And you can select a control area that will be taken as an input for the shader. This control node actually needs to be an area with a sphere collision shape. Now if we set everything up you can check this run in editor flag to even preview the effect of the shader in edit mode. And when you move the area over the object, you can see how it transitions from one object to the other. Or you can change the radius of the sphere and same thing will happen. So that's it. This is what I'm currently working on. Right now it's just a prototype and there are many things missing. For example, I did not get the normal map to work correctly in the shader. But I try to update the Git repository from time to time whenever I make progress and try to polish it to something that can be used in a game. If you want, check it out, it's free.